You do a work plan and then you get downstream and you got to change it and it's just, it's just a matter of course. So consequently, the initial work plan, which if you follow the frame of things, is you, you have your initial meeting and then you scope the project and you send in the, send in the description and then you go back to the client and work, on, work through and detail out a work plan. And then you get a team and then you have your team meeting and you sell the work plan to the team. Uh, not really. Uh, what happens is that I think the big value of the work plan is to help solidify in the client's mind what the scope is really all about. What's going to happen? You can say, you know, here's the objectives and here's what we're going to do. But they really don't get it until you get sit down and say, okay, and this is how we're, what, how we're going to get there. And then they can begin to see, oh, yeah, you're going to do some interviews. Oh, yeah, you'll do some data collection. Oh, yeah, I understand that now. And what about this? Oh, that's out of scope. Okay, well, that's, that's why it's not in the work plan. And you can work through those kinds of things to the point that all of a sudden you begin to generate a decent understanding. Also, it gives you a lot more data points when you're, when you're if you aren't got a project that's going to be in trouble, that interaction is going to help you begin to dig out some of those things. Oh, you can't even interview those people because, you know, they don't like us, or you can't interview them because they're never around, or, or those kinds of things start to come out, and then the red flags start to pop up at that point, and, and so it gives you another chance to, to digest what's really going on and say, wait, wait a minute, now why not? Why doesn't this board member like you? How come these board members never come to meetings? That sort of thing that, that begin to say, hey, there's you know, a little trouble in paradise here. Um, and so I like to make the work plan as general as possible in terms of the specifics, but focus it on communicating with the client. And then when the time comes and the team comes together, it's not a matter of selling, but it's another iteration of that work plan because they, in order to get the team buy-in, you really got to make it a participative thing. I mean, these aren't, these aren't silly people or dumb people that you're dealing with. You know, most of them are smarter than I am. And, and uh, you've got to give them a shot to work it, buy into it, understand what it's all about, and make the project go from that standpoint. So that's the other side of the coin, is working it through from there. And then, you know, Give it your damnedest uh, when when you when you start going to that data collection thing, something's going to change, and you're going to have to you're going to have to reiterate and and, uh, and re rework it through and sit down with the client and understand it. Uh, it happens. It's just one of those things, and so expect it. But but that's why you shouldn't get too wed to that work plan beyond well, I think communicating with the client at least in the initial phases.